Our first stop is the Battle of Mobile Bay, one of the most crucial naval engagements in the Civil War. It occurred in August 1864 and was fought between the Union Navy, commanded by Rear Admiral David Farragut, and Confederate forces under Admiral Franklin Buchanan. The Union's victory at Mobile Bay marked a significant step towards cutting off Confederate supply lines. Moving on to the Battle of Selma, which took place in April 1865, Union forces led by Major General James H. Wilson clashed with Confederate defenders under Lieutenant General Nathan Bedford Forrest. This battle was a part of Wilson's raid through Alabama, targeting important Confederate industrial and supply centers. The Union's victory here severely impacted the Confederate war effort. Our next battle is the Battle of Spanish Fort, which occurred from March to April of 1865. Union forces commanded by Major General E.R.S. Canby laid siege to Spanish Fort defended by Confederate Major General Dabney H. Maury. This siege was a part of the broader Mobile Campaign and eventually led to the Confederate surrender of the fort, contributing to the Union's control over the region. Let's now discuss the Battle of Day's Gap, a lesser known engagement that happened in April of 1863. Union forces led by Colonel Abel Strait clashed with Confederate forces commanded by Brigadier General Nathan Bedford Forrest. This battle showcased Forrest's tactical brilliance as he effectively thwarted Strait's attempt to cut off the Western and Atlantic Railroad. Lastly, we explore the Battle of Decatur, which took place in October 1864. Union forces under Brigadier General Robert S. Granger faced Confederate defenders led by General Stephen D. Lee. The battle was part of the wider Franklin-Nashville campaign and saw the Union successfully defending the vital supply and communication line.